Now this time around, we'll be talking about the defects of vision. Now defects of vision. I'll just explain in short terms. Now the first one we'll be talking about is myopia. The second one is hypermetopia. The third one is astigmatism. And the fourth one is press biopia. Now these are the defects of the vision. Yeah, I will be looking at the defects of the lenses as well, though I'll be just list I will, I will list all those ones for you. But this one, let's talk about this. Now, the press biopia can also be known as short sighted. I'll call it the short sightedness, but in sh in short, we call it short sight. And the hypermetopia is called the long sight, or we say it is long sightedness. And presbyopia is, we can say, loss of accommodation. Loss of accommodation. Now let's talk about this one after the other. Now the first one I'll be talking about is myopia. Now follow me. There are some characteristics I want us to look at here. Yeah, the first thing is that myopia a short-sighted person, you know, I told you that it is known as short-sighted. That means it's apple for the short-sighted person. Now, a short-sighted person cannot see a long distance. That means it can it cannot see a long object or a long distance object, long distance object, but it can only see near objects it can see near objects or short distance objects that's the only thing it can see so we can call this we can also call this uh near sightedness we can call this near sightedness that's another name because they can only see the near objects now the reason is because the reason, the reason why they can see the near object is because the person's eyeballs are too long. Now, this is the reason. The person's eyeball are too long or we have two conditions. Or the crystalline lens in the eye or the crystalline lens of the eyes is too converging is too converging now the reason is because now once once the crystalline lens of that eye is too converging in such a way that the rays from the distance objects are brought to the focus in front of the retina instead of it to be at the retina so it is brought at the front of the world of the retina instead of the world. It states of to be at the world at the retina. Now this is what happened. Now to now correct such issue, the correction can only be made by using a diverging lens. Don't forget that the the the, the issue, the problem is that. The, the length of the person is too what is too converging. So that means to correct it, we now need to use the opposite of the converging. And the only thing we can use is what? To use a diverging lens. And don't forget, diverging lens can also be known as what? The concave lens. The diverging lens can also be known as concave lens. Don't forget that when you are talking about the mirror, under the mirror, the concave mirror is known as converging mirror 
and the convex mirror the convex mirror is known as diverging mirror it has a property of diverging but under lenses the concave lens has the property of diverging that is we can also call it diverging lens but the convex lens can also be known as the converging that is converging lens that is it so in this state when we have this to be two converging then we need to use what a diverging lens and which is also known as the concave lens number two number two we talk about the hypermetopia let's talk about the number two the hyper metopia now don't forget that hypermetopia can also be known as the long sightedness now if you are talking about the long sightedness that means that the first thing is that a long sighted person a long sighted person cannot see cannot see near objects they cannot see near objects but they can see far objects they can see what far objects but unlike the myopia whereby the myopia patient can only see the near objects but they cannot see the words the far objects number two number two is that we can also call it long-sightedness according to what i said we can call it long-sightedness because they can see what they can only see the words the long distance objects number three the same thing unlike the myopia anybody that has the symptoms of hypermetopia that is a long-sighted then it shows that the person's eyes ball the person's eyes ball eyeballs are too short are too short don't forget for the for the myopia it shows that the person's eyeballs are too long but this one the person's eyeball are too short or the crystalline lens For this one you know the previous one is that they are two words they are too converging that's for the myopia but this one it shows that it's two words is to diverge that is is to diverging that's what happened at the word for the crystalline lens and that means if it is too diverging you know the property of diverging it means it's scatter now that shows that it means that the person would not been able to be sufficiently convergent any words, any rays from the world, from the object. Now, if you want to correct this, the correction to this, that shows that the patient can only use the opposite of the diverging here, which means the patient can only use the converging lens, in which we can also know it as what? The convex lens. Don't forget. So that's the correction. The third one, we talk about the press biopia. Press biopia is loss of accommodation. Yes, loss of accommodation. That's double C double M. Now this accommodation we mean is that the ability for the what for the eyes to be able to what to focus now this press biopia can happen to anybody most especially it happens to people who is above 40 years of age now this one can happen to anybody but unlike myopia and hypermetopia in which anyone can be born with it but this one it can happen to anybody because the press biopia deals with age 
Now, if you want to analyze this, I can say increasing in age, increasing in age causes presbyopia. So, when there is an increase in age, as you get older, then the eye lenses, the eye lenses, they tend to become inelastic. And once they become inelastic, they uh they 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 now they now have uh a less effort to accommodate that is to focus and that is why many old men or women use glasses when they are old even you see some people that do not use glasses at their uh, earlier age but once they are once they are old they use glasses and due to the due to the uh, symptoms we call the breast pyopia that is, they may not be able to accommodate the readings again. If you want to read, they may not be able to get the focus on what they are reading. Even some will have to shift the book they are reading forward a bit because of the symptoms we call presbyopia. Now, the the correction of this one, since it can happen to anybody, then this one can be used with a uh, with the app of the words of a suitable convex lens convex lens most actually we, and that is the convex lens is what is converging lens so to help towards to converge the words the 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 the, 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 the what they are reading or what they want to focus on but in the real sense under this aspect they can they can they can use glasses they can help them to use uh, to, to to provide glasses or let's say uh what they call it all those uh the contact lens they can use the contact lens to correct the press biopia but most especially we use glasses even some do operation of this but at the same time it is not only the convex lenses that can be used to correct this because it depends on how it is because it is under this aspect we have what you know as the bifocal spectacles so they can use the bifocal spectacles the bifocal spectacles means they have two focals don't forget the two focals so it can contain the concave pier and the convex pier in which the concave pier is used for viewing a distance object and the convex pier will be used to view a near object. So that shows that this can contain, the spectacle can contain a concave, concave pier, and the words, and a convex pier. So this one can be used to view uh, a far object. That's for the concave. A far object and the convex can be used to view a near object now let's explain the last aspect and the last aspect is what you know as astigmatism what is astigmatism now the astigmatism is let me say the is somehow similar to the press biopia but what's happened is that the astigmatism deals with the curvature of the corneal now when the curvature of the corneal or the eye lenses are distorted that is they are being disturbed the focusing power of the eyes is different in different planes what am i talking about what i'm trying to explain is that if you are talking about the astigmatism it is just a common problem that makes your your vision to be blur or being distorted now that is being disturbed that's the process called astigmatism when your vision is being distorted or blur you cannot see it very well then we can call it what astigmatism and it happens when the corneal is being affected when the when the curvature that is when the curvature of the corneal 
is being affected. Yes, it will provide a different shape than the normal. That is it. And this can only be corrected. The correction for the axismatism can be made when you use a suitable cylindrical lens. It can be used, it can be corrected with the help of a suitable cylindrical lens. That's under axismatism. Now, that is all about the defects of the words of the vision. Now, let's quickly explain the defects of lenses. Now, what are the defects of lenses? The first one, we have the comma. Now, comma. If you're talking about the comma, this results from off-axis objects coupled with different magnification of different zones of the lens. Now, when we are talking about the comma under this, don't forget we are talking about the lenses now. Now, I can simply explain comma as, uh, you know, the lens, a lens with comma symptoms can, can be sharp in the middle and at the edge may be blue. You know, imagine you putting such lens to correct to correct your eyes. Now, if the defect, if 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 that lens has a coma symptoms or coma defect, then it should be what it it can be sharp at the middle and blur at the edge, and that's coma. Number two, we have distortion. This torsion. Now, when we are talking about distortion, now this occur when the magnification of the image varies. When the magnification of the image varies, now that's distortion. Now, number three, we have what you know as chromatic aberration. Now, you should know that from the word chroma, which deals with what? Which deals with color. And this occur when the image of an object in a lens is colored. When the image of an object in a lens is colored, then this, the, the defect is called chromatic aberration. But when the magnification of the image varies, it is called what? Distortion. Now, we have what you know as, number four, we have what you know as spherical aberration spherical aberration this occur when a white beam of light falls on a lens yes and this causes the rays to be far from the axis or let me say the rays that are far from the axis the rays that are far from the axis to be brought nearer the what the focus to be brought near the focus than the rays that is very close to the world to the principal axis now in short i can just say that, that the spherical aberration is just a process at which the outer part of the lens do not bring the light rays into the same focus as the center part now that's why i explained that the rays that are very far from the world are brought to the world to the to the near focus the rays that are very far are brought to the near focus than those ones that are what that are close now you can see that the coma i explained the coma distortion chromatic aberration and spherical aberration so with this let us end this class here now these symptoms if the ray is passing through the lens close to its center and focus farther away than rays passing through a circular zone near its rims, these symptoms is defect of lenses. And which of the defects of lenses? Comments at the comment section. Let me know. Thank you very much. God bless you.